I mean, I'm pretty sure McDonald's don't do this. McDonald's is back open, but apparently not. Mom, you know I don't believe. Here you go with nothing. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see, I am joined with my little brother Atticus and today we are going to be attempting to make our very own McDonald's. Close. And as you guys would know, McDonald's is basically my career. I base a lot of my videos on it, and with it being shut, which I never thought would happen, means I am gonna have to make it at home. We're gonna make a lot of stuff. We are gonna try and make a Big Mac. We're gonna try and make the fries. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, Let's get started. When I heard that McDonald's was closing, I thought, okay, I need to get packaging so I can make this video. So I actually got some empty cups and some empty chip packets. So whilst we were making this video, I can have my drink from a McDonald's cup. So the first thing we are gonna make is the Big Mac sauce. Now I found a recipe online. I do actually have a bottle of the Big Mac sauce upstairs, but obviously I need to follow a recipe so you guys can do it with me. I have got all the ingredients here. Go. First thing is 300 grams of mayonnaise and I actually only bought a 200 gram pot so that will not be happening. Anna? Yeah. Why did you buy only that? Because I didn't look at the measurements but I guess we only need as much we, as we need. If we ever do this again, we know. And we might be doing this again because if it's really good. It already looks like it's like the skin bit it's just like white at the moment. Yeah, we need to make it the colour, don't we? Next up we've got a half a mm -hmm. tablespoon of gherkin relish. So obviously I had to buy some gherkins anyway. I didn't know even McDonald's that that was in the Big Mac. Next up we have got one tablespoon of vinegar. Here what is the is vinegar. vinegar? Uh, vinegar is something that you put on your chips maybe. I think I know what you mean. Mummy's told me about it. She didn't tell me what you mix it in with. You know what really is starting to smell like it? Look, smell this. It is, but it's like a little bit off little bit off we need two tablespoons of mustard oh, but i think that's quite a lot so I'm that gonna... might put it a bit more skinny color skinny that might put it a bit more peachy that's the right word skinny then we need one and a half tablespoons of onion powder what so is onion here. powder i mean i've never had it before is it in your onion I guess so. It is. I've actually halving the recipe though because I've only used half the mayonnaise. Because some people can be a bit silly and they use the whole bit and spicy. Next, I'm going to be using garlic powder. I'm going to put all the measurements of the exact recipe. What do you? Over. What is garlic powder? Like it's like sugar, but it tastes more like. I don't know. And then we're going to use half a tablespoon of paprika. Let's just pour some straight in. There we go. The sun is coming out. It knows that my Big Mac sauce is being ready. We're going to mix it. Oh my gosh. Okay, it actually looks like the colour of Big Mac sauce. It's just a little bit more yellowy. Does it smell like it? Smell it? I think it smells quite like it. Yeah, it does smell a tiny tip, the tiniest bit in the world off. Yeah. I think it might need a bit more mixing. Here it is. It is definitely like... More yellow. It's a little bit more yellow than Big Mac sauce. Big Mac sauce is a little bit more pink. As a whole, this actually smells pretty decent. So we're going to pop this to the side. Smell it. I'm going to pop this to the side. But honestly, guys, I don't want to call myself some like sort of McDonald's chef or something. But McDonald's, I'm coming for your brains. And Anna, what are we making next? Next, we are going to do the fries. So, oh, I've actually thought, got oh. normal fries. The thinnest fries you can get in Tesco, I've got those. And then I've basically found a recipe that you can soak your fries in to make them taste Anna? exactly like McDonald's fries. Anna? Yeah. This is the bit I'm most... You're most excited for the fries, aren't what you? What are you most excited about? I'm most excited for the burger, I'm not going to... But even the fries, like, if these fries taste like McDonald's, I will definitely do this more often. Yeah, I'll do it. 
I'll do it as well. If it tastes the same, we need to mix the little mixture in this bowl. So I basically have to bath my chips in a mixture. I've got to put cold water, beef stock, soya milk and baking powder and then just coat my fries and then put them in the tray. I put the water in my little dish and now I'm going to put how much soya milk do I need? It actually doesn't tell me. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm spilling it everywhere. So I'm going to get a kitchen towel. Yes, please. Okay, so I've added the soy milk. I also need to add a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm praying this works, guys. I miss McDonald's so much. I want I this to work. Too. I, I really want, want this to work. We literally miss McDonald's. So we wish there was like a McDonald's Express. Express. Like when if McDonald's closed, we could go to McDonald's Express and then get the exact things what make the food. Then I'm gonna add a cube of beef stock. I'm just gonna swirl this beef stock cube around into here to make it like a beefy bath. This is honestly the strangest thing I've ever done. I never ever thought I would be coating my chips in a Can bath look that looks that? like this. It, it looks exactly like it does on here though. So then I need to add a little bit of baking powder it says. I'm not really sure what I'm adding this for, but I don't know. And then give that a mix. Here is the mixture that I'm about to bathe my chips in. So I'm basically just going to get Asuka to chuck a couple in, coat them, and then we'll put them on the tray. This is honestly the strangest thing I've ever done. For reference, I'm literally just using these McCain fries, and I'm just going to dump them in here. Just a little handful, so I have to do a few at a time. There we go. And then we're going to coat them. Put them all in here and then we're gonna mix them all around i mean i'm pretty sure mcdonald's don't do this it might take you a little bit longer than it does when you go through the drive through and here is our tray of fries i'm just drizzling a little bit of the mixture over them and then i'm gonna pop these in the oven at the same time as i put the burgers in next up i have got the british beef quarter pounders just to save me making my own but the thing is with mcdonald's burgers they are super super thin so i'm actually gonna get some of these obviously a big mac has two burgers in it so i'm gonna get two of them cut two of them in half and then we can make two burgers okay here we go here are the beef burgers and i'm just gonna chop these there's not really a way but easier way i can do this okay this is proving a little bit harder than i thought that might not work okay um i thought i could just slice them but apparently not here are the new burger patties ready to go i managed to half them i basically had to remold them and kind of reshape them myself and then those are the chips so the chips actually only go in for five minutes but the burgers go in for 10 to 12 so i'm going to leave all this to sit for a second i actually want to prep the inside of the burger so i need to slice the lettuce or like shred the lettuce as obviously mcdonald's lettuce is shredded and then i need to dice all of the onions i honestly want to try and make this identical to a big mac i really am cutting my lettuce like slicing my lettuce with a knife there we go, look at this. I'm actually shredding. Oh my God, this is how bored I've got in isolation. If you think you're bored, wait until you're genuinely slicing lettuce with a knife. Please sponsor us. Sponsor who? You, us. Who do you want to sponsor us? The guys who follow us. And who follows my mum's Instagram and my sister's Instagram. For the last time, sponsor, sponsor us. You heard the boy? It does look like McDonald's, I can picture it. It does, doesn't it? It actually looks like shredded lettuce. This is literally what I'm doing. I'm taking a piece of lettuce and going like that. Well, that's a lot of lettuce, Anna. It is a lot of lettuce, you're right. Well, that was a quick way of doing We're it. We have got a rice lover on our hands. Rice lover? Yeah. Who likes rice? I mean, we've got a lettuce lover on our hands. There we go. Oh my god, that's so much easier. Why didn't I start You want that? some more? I mean, that's a pretty big pile of shredded lettuce, Attica. Do you want some more? Don't be shy. Put some more. Don't be shy. Put some more. Go on then, give me a little bit more. We've got the holy grail of all vegetables. Onion. This is my favourite thing in the world. Their onion is like diced, which I don't know how to do. If you're a chef, I'm so, so, so sorry. She loves the raspberries, but we, me and my mum, rather her eating raspberries. I don't think I was going to be able to do that. Again, if you're a chef, I'm so sorry. I know this is going to be painful. I've given Atticus the job of holding the camera and we are going to put 
the burgers into the oven. That's why you need to wear an other glove. Here is my diced onion. Honestly, McDonald's. <laughs> How excited I want to scale of one to ten. Ten being the best. Ten. Yay! For you. Ten. Even though I don't like gherkins, it definitely would not be a Big Mac without them. So I'm going to put two in each one. So I'm just going to put four on this little tray. We are ready. The buns are cut and toasted. We have got the Big Mac sauce to it hand. It tastes like McDonald's. It does smell like McDonald's. We've got the cheese, the lettuce, the onion and the gherkin. And I'm about to put the fries in the oven as well. I may have forgot that meat shrinks when you put it in the oven. Um, so my burgers are a lot, a lot smaller than I originally planned. So they definitely don't look the size of Big Mac patties but that is okay I have got a picture here of a Big Mac and I'm now going to start to put the sauce on the bun I'm basically just following a picture so I try and get it exact some of the lettuce on then it's going to be some of the onion diced onion like this I'm so proud of this I can't even tell you then it's going to be the cheese and then again on the middle one it's going to be a dollop of the sauce and the exact same, it's going to have the lettuce, some of the onion. I forgot, and I think I did make a Big Mac when I worked at McDonald's for a video, but I honestly cannot remember. And then, oh, the gherkins as well. The gherkin goes just there. Look at the actual sitch right now. How sick is this? Honestly, if you guys are bored, cannot recommend this enough. Moment of truth, the burgers are going in. And I feel like that burger needs something else on it like i'm gonna put a little bit more onion and then there is oh my gosh there's my big mac just gonna do the other one whilst i'm at it as well there we go look at my two big macs for comparison i honestly like i wish i had seeded buns that was the only thing the tesco didn't have how amazing does this actually look okay um i think it's time for a taste test i'm gonna go for this one here the thing is i would normally take a big mac apart so i would never actually eat the full burger like this i'd like half it if that makes sense moment of truth here we go Stop. Actually stop. I can taste it. Guys, it tastes like a Big Mac. Oh my god. Mac! You know what I'm gonna believe? After this, it tastes exactly like a Big Mac. Can I have a banana? Big Mac? Yeah. No, I'll try a little bit. I'm gonna try the bun. So you're having bread. So it's not really a Big Mac, is it? McDonald's is back open. I made it in my kitchen. Come and see us in our house if you want. Come to our house. If you want a Big Mac. Oh my God, if these fries taste the same, Atticus, when we make McDonald's on your birthday, <laughs> everything just tastes the same. It's the tiniest bit in the world. Oh. The tiniest bit. Oh. I'm a happy girl. It's gonna be so good. So I've got the chips out. I've got a carton for mine. And I also ordered Atticus some little half meal boxes so we can make some stuff at home. If you guys didn't know, it's nearly my birthday, isn't it? It is nearly your birthday. So we ordered a load of ones because obviously yeah. McDonald's is shut and he um, wants McDonald's on his birthday. Yeah, we're gonna so make our own. Chips, let's pour them in my carton. But there's mine. And then let me pour yours I know. Yours can in the we box. wear these after? Yeah. Atticus, this is so cool. Oh, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna Try them first. Here are my fries. This looks so good. Here you go, nothing. They taste actually like McDonald's. Do they actually? Do they really? Yes, duplicate chips. They taste like McDonald's. Well, in the words of Atticus, here goes nothing. Whoa. I told you, Anna. Whoa, guys. These taste like McDonald's chips. That's why I said I'm speechless. I literally don't know what to say. I don't either. These taste exactly. I'm taking one that to mummy. McDonald's is no longer shut because I can make it in my kitchen. And that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching me make my homemade McDonald's. I will leave the recipes and all the different ingredients and stuff down below just in case you do want to make it. And if you do, please send me pictures on Instagram, on Twitter, because I really, really, really want to see. And other than that, I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Mwah.